Within two minutes, I'll give you a super simple constraint setup that you can use with all your shots. Let's go. First, let's go through the difference between parents and parent constraints. The parent this located to this box, like this. You'll see when I move this box, the locator follows. But the value of the locator has not changed. It's zero, zero, zero. I also can animate this locator separately and it will not snap back to its original location. By contrast, if I parent constraint this to the locator, of course, this is moving up by 6.95, this is 6.95. Secondly, if I move this locator to the side and I use this box again, it will snap back to the original location. Here I have Raphael and his dagger. If I was to constrain this knife to the hand, so select the hand, set the knife, parent constraint, this will now follow the dagger works but there's no control. If I move the dagger, the hand will snap back to its position. Instead, we can create a locator back to the middleman between these two points. Here is our locator. Now we can constrain the dagger to the locator. Select the locator, then the dagger, parent constraint. To make the locator follow the hand, select the locator and then the IK hand, then simple parent in the edit box. Now to animate the hand, I can then control the dagger. But if I animate the locator as well, I make some changes, maybe use a different grip, the dagger won't snap back the location. So we can take this a step further and make a chain. I can take my locator, make it a parent constraint of the staff, take my locator with the IK hand, simple parent. Now this hand is controlling the staff. Make sure the rotation point is in the middle of the staff where the hand will twist. I can take this locator, make it a child of the staff, I then take the locator, make it a parent with a real constraint of the wrist. Now, this staff and the hand are animated all through this arm. I can use the locator to spin around the staff, move along the staff, edit the location of the character. I hope that made sense. Please comment down below for any two minute tutorial you want me to make. Thank you and happy animating.